Welcome to the shortwave radio channel. So as um, we're decoding here on this uh, Yisu of TDX10, um, I had to do a video to kind of talk about also this, you know, new beast uh, that is what I have now. And uh, of course, it's a transceiver, um, but it's, you know, pretty amazing device. When you look at it, it's a pretty amazing, um, you know, transceiver. When you look at the advancements of what all of this is, Compared to the Kenwater 5000 I showed you in a video earlier. Pretty cool to see the advancements in radio technology and what it's bringing us today. Especially the SDR side of, you know, radio and an hybrid like this, which is, you know, part standard PLL receiver and uh, transceiver and, and part SDR in a way. Uh, there are things that are even more advanced SDR like uh, the um, ICOM uh, 7300 which is much more of a SDR, complete SDR device. A little bit like the uh, ICOM R8600 receiver, which technically is a computer with an SDR uh, with buttons. But uh, it's kind of nice to see the advancements and to see that, um, you know, I back in the day of the Kenwood R5000, I would never have thought of having something that looked like this, that had a touchscreen and whatever. Um, in radio, it's it's something that you know you don't think about like you know when it's it's still twenty or thirty years ahead or forty years ahead of what you're gonna have in technology, but it's cool to see the advancements in radio. It's cool to see how you know we are continuing to have new uh, great transceivers. You know this brings a lot of a question because that's a question I get all the time is you know when will there be some new desktop receivers only and I think the I think the um, age of the desktop receiver is pretty much gone. Um, I think the next step, and if anybody wants to have a receiver per se that is a desktop, I don't think there will be any choices but to buy a ham transceiver for that purpose. Um, as, you know, there isn't, I don't think they sell that many. I'd be curious to know, for example, how many. I know a lot of the geeks, the, the you know, the real radio geeks, purchased a lot of them purchased the icom um icr 600 but in general you know i'd be curious to see how many do you actually sell and um it's becoming a very very unique niche market it's not like in the 80s in the 80s everyone was looking at a decent desktop because they were the best performers and they were the ones that would help you in your hobby if you just uh wanted to have a um you know, a, uh, a good radio, but now today, uh, you know, portables are quite amazing for what they are. And, uh, that's where you, there's a lot of competition and the prices and, and, you know, the fact that a lot of people are having a hard time getting decent, um, decent reception of, of stations, the, um, you know, the purchase of, a new desktop is not as appealing and people are probably going a lot more with less expensive radios um, overall. So um, this is it's kind of interesting. But this is marvel of technology. It's really, really cool to see this, uh, this receiver in, in action and uh, all of its uh, bells and whistles also at the same time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.